and we are underway. Seasons Beatings 2012. What a great way to kick things off. Of course, Tim Letter E period D. Joined here by my broadcast colleague, Brett Wolverton. And Brett, you know, what a great way to kick things off for Seasons Beatings because it's it's almost like an anniversary of sorts for you. And what a way to kind of, you know, end things and begin things almost for the new year as well, too. It, it is. This is the last show of 2012 for Anarchy Wrestling. It's been a tremendous year. And we've seen this year the war between the elite and Team Anarchy. Tonight it comes to a head in our main event. Yeah, and you're certainly going to see some very fast-paced action here for our opening contest. Of course, Corey Hollis and Nazism taking on each other. And we've, we've seen, you know, Corey Hollis really kind of be in the same circles, of course, that Jimmy Rave approved. He's been with Mike Posey and Jimmy Rave himself. And we're going to certainly see Mike Posey coming up a little bit later on, uh, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm assuming. You're right. Typically, we would see Mike Posey in the corner of Corey Hollis. However, Posey has a very important match this evening with Seth DeLay. He's in the back focusing on it. You know, not exactly the opponent Mike Posey wanted this evening. He wanted our owner, Franklin Dove. Yeah, I was going to say, as, Seth Delay. as Mike Posey's in the back, you know, focusing on his matchup with Seth DeLay, he doesn't need to be distracted. So Certainly with, uh, with our owner, Franklin Dove, at the moment. He needs to be focusing solely on the match of Seth DeLay. But we're going to see that and so much more coming up, not to mention as well our big eight-man tag action, too. So what a great way, again, we are so glad that you are here joining us. And great go-behind there. Corey Hollis holding on. Nodgism rolls through. Oh, man, big spin kick there. That certainly wakens up the crowd just a little bit here for this contest. They're going to dump Nodgism on the outside, catches himself on the apron, Drives that shoulder block in the midsection. In the meanwhile, Corey Hollis, a nasty bump on the outside, Brett. A back body drop by Nauseousism. A somersault on the apron. Whoa. Double knees. Man, talk about impressive. I can't say it. I mean, I don't know how I can do a somersault to begin with. No less do that on the uh, apron there that Nauseousism did. Nauseousism going back up to the top turnbuckle. Standing, waiting for Hollis to turn around. Cross body in a beauty. Goes for the cover. Hooks the leg. Uh, only able to get a one count, but... Fantastic. This is going to be an interesting test for Nazism because in recent weeks we've seen him more in tag team action with his partner in the movement, the Vandal. Vandal not here at season's beatings. So it's one-on-one -on -one competition. Corey Hollis and Nazism Nazism down, kick out at two. And maybe you're still trying to figure out exactly what that movement is. No one has really specified to me exactly the movement. I know I, when I have a movement, I don't really specify uh, well, we a don't broadcast. Talk, I, as I say, we don't talk about our movements on television. <laughs> That's right, but apparently they're allowed to. And we, we, it conspicuous by his absence, again, one half of the movement. But we've got Nazism in the ring. Great tag team action that he normally is a part of. But a high flyer nonetheless. And Corey Hollis is going to certainly have to ground Nazism down. And really, because he's a high flyer, and we've got to be able to stop any offense that Nazism can really, you know, apply to this matchup here. Oh, man, big shoulder into the midsection there from Corey Hollis. Going to whip his man across the ring. Follows through. Big boot there. Nazism again back to the top. Uh, Corey Hollis able to catch him. Where's he going to go from here? Oh, man. Did you see that? Impressive. Beautiful overhead suplex by Corey Hollis into the corner. Goes Nazism. Kick out at two. Now the fast pace of these two superstars is going to help them out. This is only a 10-minute time limit match. They have 10 minutes to get the job done or risk a, a time limit draw, and neither superstar wins the match. Yeah, and you know as you've got all the eyes watching you for this event, season's beatings, you know you want to put your man away early as quick as possible. Good coming. Oh, man, but Nodgism able to get on his feet. But met the end with a drop kick from Corey Hollis. And Corey Hollis has got to be feeling really good right now. A textbook picture perfect drop kick by Corey Hollis. Cover only gets a two. Hollis thought for sure that would be three. May take a little bit more than two feet in the face to take out Nazism. And you certainly can feel the intensity picking up for all the athletes here in this matchup as well. As season's beating is good underhook there. Every man wants to be able to come out the winner here. Only a two count, says our senior official. And it looks like Nazism and Corey Hollis are going to fight to continue again. Big rake right there with the knee straight across the face of Nazism. Great crowd here in Cornelia, Georgia. Of course, we love to have you. We've got so many big events that we have throughout the year. You can check us out on our website. Go, oh, man. Nazism spun around, missed, but connected with the knee, but he got him this time. Corey Hollis, a little wobbly in the corner, and how is Nazism going to follow through? If it weren't for that corner, Hollis may not be standing. He was able to get a boot to the face. Up, oh, head scissor, takeover by Nazism. Hooks the leg, shoulder not quite down. I will say that was a tremendous call by Brent Wiley, making sure that the shoulder was down. We, we tend to criticize him a lot because he's one of Jerry's kids. Uh, yeah, Jerry's kids, if you will. But that was a textbook call by the referee. 
And still only able to get a two count. Nautism again. He has to be feeling a little frustrated. How is he going to put away Corey Hollis? But both men, the accolades, reign supreme. Man, beautiful move from Corey Hollis. But does he have enough? He's got to be able to roll his man over and actually get the pin attempt. Hooks the leg. Almost a three. But our senior official says the shoulder was up. And so far it seems, at least in this opening contest, maybe because it's early, but our senior official has kind of called it straight down going to happen here. Over the shoulder. Oh, oh, double man. knees to the, chin, or to the cheek and chin. I've never seen it from the reverse angle like that before. One, two. Oh, man, and Corey Hollis kicks out with authority, and I don't know how after the move that Nazism just inflicted on him. And, man, both men are starting to show their wear just a little bit. As you touched on, there's a 10-minute time limit. That's why the intensity is probably picked up a little more. Both men know that they got to run the clock down and really be able to put away their opponent. Uh, Corey Hollis back again, as well as Nodges, and both men, neither one getting an advantage. In fact, they seem to be gaining a little bit of aggression as the shots fire back and forth. Yeah, Nodges get a little bit more of an advantage there, but met at the end with a knee from Corey Hollis. Going to hit the ropes. Ducks underneath. Oh, it, oh my. Man. Hits him again. And now the double underhook, the pump handle. Oh, man. And he uses the knee as well, too. But again, Nazism very wisely continues each time to roll on the stomach. This could be it right here. Only a two count. I'm surprised. Brett's surprised. And I think Corey Hollis in the ring is surprised. But again, that just shows you the, the mark of excellence there from Nazism because each time he rolls on his stomach. Yeah, he, he knows he has to stay off of his back, his wrist keeping his shoulders down. The fans here in Cornelia trying to get behind Nodgesism. Nodgesism springboards himself back up. Connects Corey Hollis beautifully. But he isn't able to capitalize. And it looks like he's going to try and go up to the top rope again. We've seen this before from him. It's one of those big high-risk maneuvers. It can either pay off or, or really fall short. Oh, man, and that might have been a little short there. Corey Hollis wisely able to get enough energy to get back up to the top there. Going to climb to the top rope, perhaps maybe a suplex. He's setting his man up perfectly. Listen to the impact of this hit. Oh, man. And he holds on to it. You've got to be kidding me. But wait a second. That might have cost him. Not just him. Able to spin around. And now he's got the advantage. Flips Corey Hollis over. Two. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner. Not